Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Watch Monkey. And today we're going to be talking about a diving watch that's been um, being sold by uh, Nomon Watches that's based out in Singapore. It's a nice watch, and basically it's a homage watch to the Seiko 63 Moss. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a nice looking watch. Here's the box here, and I will uh, get into it very shortly. But if you're looking for a high quality watch, I would say a high quality watch, at uh, what I would think to be is a reasonable price, considering that Seiko prices have kind of gone through the roof. Um, this is a good alternative for sure. And it's got its own little differences and upgrades to what Seiko is offering you for double or triple the price. So again, some of you out there, not really big fans of homage watches, and I get that, but this is a legitimate alternative that may be right for you. All right, so let's flip that camera around and get into this. So now that we got the camera flipped around, we've got the watch here. I've already taken it out of the box and I've got my little Japanese ninja dude here guarding it. Very cool. <laughs> but anyways, here we are. Here is the Hitori Roku watch. And uh, this is in the coral blue. And you can see that uh, it's the dial is beautiful and uh, it has a nice shimmer to it. The case size is also very nice. And as I was mentioning to you, this is actually a homage pretty much to the Seiko um, 63 or 62 Moss uh, uh, or Mass. But uh, anyway, great looking watch. The quality is very good. Some of the things that I really like about it, I love drilled lugs. It makes uh, strap changes very easy. Uh, it's got sapphire glass, ceramic bezel, and the uh, ratcheting action here is quite smooth. It's got a little bit of a playback, but nothing major. And of course, it's got the date function at the three o'clock, which you can see right there. It's got a screw down crown. So what that means is when you unscrew it, it will pop out. And in the first position, you can manually wind the watch. In the second position, you can change the date. And the most outer position, you can change the time. So nothing uh, groundbreaking there, but it has a screw down crown. And the nice thing too is it's got a 200 meter uh, water resistance. So. Uh, pretty safe to be playing in the water with this. Um, what else can I tell you? The case uh, back is closed. It's not a display back. And it's just running your typical Seiko movement in there. The NH35, uh, which is a very good movement. It's reliable. It's a workhorse. It's not an expensive movement or anything like that. But it definitely gets the job done. But the thing that really is nice about this watch is the is the looks. The dial is very impressive. Uh, the millwork and so on on the case is very nice. I'm going to see if I can get a little closer to you. Uh, not to you, sorry, to the, to the watch. But you can see it, it's done at a, at a very nice level, for sure. The case back has some information on it as well. And you can see it's 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 done nicely too. Sorry about a little bit of dirt there. I probably should have cleaned the watch off a little bit better before doing this, but it is what it is. And you can see that the buckle is also marked as well. And basically, if you're wondering what that means, it's just, uh, uh, and if you translate to English, that Japanese script there uh, means alone or lonely or something like that anyways. As well, the watch, it comes with a quite a nice bracelet. And you can see here, it's still in the package. I'm, I'm not going to take it out. This watch is being moved along. I got this as a, a trade. But it's actually got uh, screwed in uh, um, bars here for holding the links together or pins. So that's, that's kind of nice. It's got solid end links as well, which is another plus. The clasp is very decent. So you just pop that open, you press the button here, and there you go. And you can see it's also milled. So yeah, very decent little clasp there. Don't Doesn't appear to be having a dive extension, which I think a dive watch should. But um, by the way, the price on these, 
if you go to Nomon uh, watches in Singapore online, uh, it's I believe 388 US and usually it's free shipping. Of course, you have to pay your taxes and duties on top of that when it arrives, but you can see here, the quality is pretty decent. So for the 388 US dollars, you're getting a watch that's as, I would say better quality than the Seiko. But granted, again, it is a homage, so it's 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 a replicating kind of a watch that exists. So a lot of a, not a lot of research and design has got into it. But there are some definite upgrades to this watch. So if you're looking for a piece at a relatively affordable price that looks great, this is that. Uh, the presentation box that it comes into um, is also pretty decent. I'll just pop it out for you very quickly here. You get kind of a little bit fancy here. So here's the box, and it comes in this uh, little, I guess, wrap or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it's got wood in here, which is kind of nice. Let me grab the cushion. So the watch would just sit on this cushion, and that would slip into, into here, and you're done. But anyway, we're not here for the box. Uh, the other thing is, this is the information, booklets and so on, that come with the watch. So here says Hattori and then operating instructions most of you are not going to need that so there's some of your information there all right that was the actual purchase date of this watch you can see it was September 16th 2021 by the way one thing you guys should know all the watches that I review I own them so and I move a lot of watches too so if you're looking for a watch uh, hit me up and uh, more than happy to to help you out and trying to, to find something to your liking if you need some opinions I'm always full of opinions <laughs> so yeah uh, I'll let you take a look at this one more time uh, I will do a loom shot in a moment so if you just want to hang on one second I'm gonna do that so let me uh, turn the lights off and uh, I'll be back in a second guys all right hang on Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna hit this with my magic glue maker once again for you guys, because I love you all. <laughs> By the way, for those of you that are in Canada, happy Thanksgiving. For those of you that are in the US, I guess your Thanksgiving is coming up in a little bit. So anyway, that should be enough. I'm gonna turn that off. Let me get the lights here and let's see what we got. All right, so you can see there, uh, I still got a little bit of light in the room, but you can see it's kind of looming up. Hang on a sec. Didn't think about that. Okay. So there you go. That's your loom shot. Not too bad at all. And you can see this is a little bit different than the Seiko. Seiko is using the Super, Lo Super Luminova in green. This is a blue. And the other thing too, I guess you noticed, is that the bezel that's this, the ceramic bezel here is also loomed. So there you go. There you have it. The Hitori Ruku dive watch in the coral blue. Let me just turn the light back on. Oh, I guess one last thing I should probably do for you guys is uh, do a wrist shot so you can have an idea on what it looks like on wrists. So I'll do that for you. The dimensions are really nice. It's 41 millimeters in diameter. The lug width here is uh, 20. So pretty much any strap will go on it. And uh, the uh, lug to lug distance is about 47. So it's a very reasonable wearing watch. It's not big um, and it has nice presence to it. So there it is on my seven inch wrist and you can see I think it looks great. I don't know what you guys think. If you'd like, write in the comments what you think about this watch. I think it's pretty darn nice. Not bad at all. Okay, so that's the, another episode of The Watch Monkey. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, please leave a comment, a like, and subscribe. So you... Oh, and yeah, don't, don't forget to hit the, the bell icon so you never miss another episode of The Watch Monkey. Based here in North Vancouver, British Columbia. So there you go. Take care, everyone, and happy Thanksgiving.